I totally get it. Pacifiers can be a parent's best friend, providing comfort and soothing for our little ones. But concerns about potential health issues due to prolonged use of pacifier are common. Stick around because in this video, we're going to provide you with a comprehensive guide on when and how to wean your child off pacifiers. By the end of the video, I'll share my own experience of weaning my children. Before we discuss when to say goodbye to pacifiers, let's first understand why we should stop using pacifier. Research suggests that pacifiers can reduce the risk of sudden infant death syndrome when used during nap time and bedtime. Also, pacifiers help babies nurture their natural sucking reflex, which can be particularly important for premature babies. While pacifiers can offer relief for parents, concerns about potential dental issues due to prolonged use are common. These issues include overbites, underbites, misaligned teeth, and changes in the roof of the mouth. Early weaning is recommended by the American Academy of Pediatrics and the American Academy of Family Physicians to reduce the risk of ear infections. Stopping pacifier use around six months of age is advantageous for several reasons. This is when babies typically start teething and become more interested in exploring their world. Also, by this age, babies typically develop the ability to fall asleep without a pacifier. Dependence on pacifiers at this stage may negatively impact sleep patterns, leading to more frequent night wakings and shorter naps. Furthermore, constant pacifier use can hinder a baby's ability to explore toys and impede the development of early communication skills, such as cooing and babbling. Importantly, removing pacifiers at six months is generally easier than dealing with older toddlers. Transitioning away from pacifier use doesn't have to be a distressing process for both you and your baby. The difficulty often arises because babies form strong attachments to pacifiers over time, relying on them to ease stress and facilitate sleep to make the transition smoother. It's crucial to adopt a gradual approach. It's essential to be attentive to your child's cues when considering pacifier weaning. If you notice that your child is becoming less interested in the pacifier or is showing signs of self-soothing through other means, it could be an opportune time to begin the weaning process. These cues might include them using the pacifier less frequently, or they may start finding comfort in alternative ways, such as sucking their thumb or fingers. Recognizing these cues is a positive step in the weaning process, as it indicates that your child is naturally moving towards self-soothing, without the need for a pacifier. He can begin weaning from pacifiers by reducing the use of the pacifier gradually. One strategy is to limit its use to specific times, such as bedtime or nap time. This approach allows your child to continue using the pacifier for comfort during their most challenging moments of the day, while gradually decreasing their overall reliance on it. As your child becomes accustomed to sleeping without the pacifier during the day, you can gradually extend this practice to nighttime sleep as well. Patience and consistency are key during this process as it allows your child to adjust to the change at their own pace. Introducing alternative comfort items is a helpful strategy during pacifier weaning. These items, such as a beloved stuffed animal or a cozy blanket, can provide your child with a sense of security and comfort. Establishing a soothing bedtime routine can help ease the transition away from the pacifier. By incorporating these familiar elements into their sleep routine, your child can find comfort and reassurance even without the pacifier. Recognize that the first few nights may be challenging, requiring extra comfort during sleep times. Resist the temptation to give the pacifier back, as consistency is crucial for a smoother transition. While there may be initial sleep challenges and more frequent tantrums, most children adapt within a week. Be patient and consistent in implementing these alternatives to ensure a smooth and successful transition. Weaning isn't always smooth sailing, let's address some common challenges and how to overcome them. If your child resists giving up the pacifier, be patient. Gently encourage them and remind them of the big kid status they're earning. Nighttime can be tough. Gradually reduce pacifier use during sleep and offer extra comfort when needed. Peer pressure can be real, even among toddlers. If your child sees others using pacifiers, explain that everyone is different and it's okay. Provide alternative soothing techniques like deep breathing exercises, gentle music, or a soft nightlight. At the end, I want to share a little about my own experience weaning my child from pacifiers. My child, just like yours, found comfort in their pacifier. It was a soothing friend during many moments of distress, but as they grew, we noticed signs of readiness to move on. 
Saying goodbye to the pacifier was bittersweet. There were tears, comforting hugs, and of course, celebrations. What I learned through this process was that our children are resilient. They adapt, grow, and embrace new phases in their lives, and we as parents are there to support and guide them every step of the way. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Consider sharing it with other parents who may be facing the same challenge. Your support and encouragement can make a world of difference to another parent. If you have any questions or would like to share your own experiences and tips on pacifier weaning, please do so in the comments below. Until next time, happy parenting.